Oh, oh, princess, 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 no! Hey everybody, it's Super Kit, and today Kit Chaos has decided to open her own business. She's going to become a business owner and work for herself. And we have the perfect venue in mind. It is right here in Willow Creek. Purchase abandoned lot as a business, yes. And here we are at Kit's new business. As you can see, it's a little out of the way. Just a quaint, quiet little place. We have a nice tall privacy fence, so no nosy neighbors can come snooping around like this child. And then through the front door, we have this check-in area where the security can sit right there Make sure that there are no shady characters that come through, like police officers or detectives. Then, once you've been approved, you can head on into the back, which will be our selling space. And this will have all sorts of unique, rare goods that you can't find anywhere else. Just ignore that locked door that goes to the office. There are no shady things going on through there. But yes, this is our business. It's a little empty right now, but don't worry, we'll fill it up soon enough. So, in other news, Kit and Princess have been getting along very well. They haven't become official yet, but Princess really wants a boyfriend or a girlfriend. So I think she's gonna ask Kit right now to be her girlfriend. And let's hope Kit doesn't break her heart. Yes. <laughs> Okay, looks like they're official. Now here's something that Princess doesn't know about Kit. Kit has the single and loving it lifestyle. She is less likely to acquire romantic sentiments. She has increased work performance when single and she is tense when in a new committed romantic relationship. We're not sure how this is going to work out, Princess. Kit is probably not using you, but only time will tell. A little less single, a new relationship is a happy event in any Sim's life, but Kit can't help but wonder if that means she'll have less time Time for herself. I sense troubled waters ahead for Kit and Princess, but maybe it'll be alright. Anyway, Kit has plans. Princess, wake up. We're going on a date. Ignore the fact that it is 12 in the morning. Come on, we got somewhere to be. Okay, welcome to our date. Yes, it is the museum in the middle of the night, but this is romantic, right? There's no one around. It's just us, surrounded by all this really expensive artwork. Princess is very hungry. Well, we can fix that. There, look at us, sitting in the museum, eating roast chicken. Okay, Princess has to go to the bathroom really badly, so why don't you go to the bathroom, Princess? There we go, and now... Huh, that's weird. I was sure there was a knight statue there a second ago. Okay, come on, Kit, you're gonna have to get flirty. We need that flirty to make it a good date. Okay, we've gotten the gold medal date. So, Princess, why don't you go... Wait for me outside. In the middle of this lovely little garden. Go on then. I'll be right there. What is the most expensive? Let's take this bust. Thank you very much. In two more hours, I can do that again. So, Princess, did you miss me? I have to say, these two are just cute. Uh, Mortimer, what are you doing? Go away. Do you mind? We're in the middle of a date. And why are you trash talking my girlfriend? Go away. Jeez. So rude. Ha, huh, there's somebody up here already. We'll just take care of that. There we go. Rabbit statues don't care if I take this painting. Uh-oh, I got caught. Who did I get caught by? The rabbit? The rabbit saw me take the painting? No, oh, princess, you found some friends. It's time to go. All right, now that we have a few items to sell, we should go stock our business. Let's see what we got to sell. We've got this knight, got this Princess Cordelia royal bust. That'll look nice there. And we've got this lovely painting. Hmm, got the VIP bucket. No, we're not going to sell that. That was from our first date with princess. That has sentimental value. So let's mark up these prices. We're going to do a 50% markup. And now we're going to be open for business. No hired help. Not yet, anyway. Oh, and we got our first customer. Kit, stop hiding from everyone. Do you like that bust? It's a unique, one-of-a-kind bust. Word on the street must have gotten out. You're all here because you want something. Johnny! Johnny, you're here! Why don't you set an example and buy something? Yes, yes, isn't that a wonderful specimen? You know you want it. Completely legal and not stolen property at all. Johnny, 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 where are you going? No, don't you go anywhere. No! No, no, don't you- Oh, Whoa, was that Caleb? That had to be Caleb. Yep, that was Caleb. Hey, Caleb. Welcome to my store. Oh, hi. Okay. Caleb is receptive to a sales pitch. Make the deal. Make the deal. Come on, Caleb. You've got money. Look at this wonderful knight statue. Okay, he's interested in purchasing. Lavish them with a bit more attention to close the deal. How's that for attention, Caleb? Please, Caleb. Buy something, I'm so tired. And somebody else has decided to buy something. Sorry, Caleb, I need to ring this customer up. Ring up the customer, she's right there. 
I don't care that you're tired. Ring her up. Okay, we got the bust. The bust is gone for 2,100 simoleons. And now Caleb's purchasing something. 960, that's good. And there he goes. Oh, it's Vladdy. Vlad, you're too late. The store is closed. You're gonna have to go home. All right, we made 3,000 simoleons. Not bad. Oh no, we just got bills. 3,500 simoleons. Well, Kit, you're gonna have to sell that last statue. We'll open the store and wait for the next customer. Oh, here's one now. Landon Strange. All right, no. No, no, no. No, no werewolves. I'm sorry. No werewolves. Okay, which one of you want this wonderful, completely legally purchased night statue? Landon, I'm glad it was you. You totally deserve this night statue. And that's it. We got rid of all of our stock. Just sold that night statue for 12... 1,300 simoleons. All right, everybody, come back when we have more stock. Well, I'd say our business is very successful. All profit and no overhead. Let's go home and tell Princess the good news. <gasps> oh, Princess, 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 no! Oh, no! That's right, vomit, vomit! Oh, oh, Princess, are you okay? Don't scare me. You're not allowed to die to a cow plant, okay? Oh, she is terrified now. No matter where Princess looks, the cow plant is always there. That piece of cake just wasn't worth it. No, no, it's not. All right, go take a shower. Look, cow plant, yeah. you, you can't eat household members. Princess is collecting quite the fears. She's scared of the dark, and now she's scared of cow plants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you see that the cow plant is like, look, cake, and she's like, no, no, <laughs> bad cow plant. Oh, Princess is very scared. Kit, stop poofing all over the place. It takes probably just as much energy to walk from one side of the room to the other as to poof there. Let's try to cheer Princess up. Princess is reading us poetry. How cute. No. All right, Princess. Important moment. Princess is about to woohoo for the first time. I can't help but feel that we're slowly corrupting her. Now where are you going? I swear. You have the attention span of... Oh, she wasn't happy with that. I don't think Kit wants to be in a relationship. Poor Princess is left here wondering what happened. One of Princess's aspirations is to milk a cow plant. I think we can arrange that. We just have to wait till the cow plant gets hungry again. Okay, cow plant is hungry, so who shall we invite over? Caleb, no. Johnny, no. Definitely not Bob. What about this guy? The cute bartender. Hello, Wesley. You know, Wesley, I don't know why you came over. You knew what was going to happen. Just chill out there and play with your phone. That's the last thing you're gonna do. Why are you tense? But my me time. Kit really wants to spend more time focusing on herself. Why did she think being in a relationship was a good idea in the first place? Oh, and just like that, she's flirty again. You know, Kit, I don't think you know what you want. What do you think of Wesley, Princess? I like Wesley. He is pretty cool. Well, um, I got some bad news for you. Oh. Oh, no. Kit. Oh, she is not liking this lifestyle. Kit, what are you thinking, girl? You don't know what you want, do you? Don't give Princess that look. It's not her fault you can't make up your mind. Take a deep breath, look yourself in the mirror, and decide what you want. Oh, she does not look happy. She's considering all her life's choices, and she's gone. Kit. Kit, what are you doing? You're all... Oh. Princess, I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with her. Well, I do know what's wrong with her. She's a little bit non-committal. Oh, look at that. Aw. Oh, Princess is too good for you, Kit. Okay. We're good again. Okay, Princess. Let's get you over this fear of cow plants. Oh, look at that. You're hungry. Guess it's time. No! Well, our cow plant died. Kit is not happy about it. Sorry, Princess. Looks like we're gonna have to wait a bit to conquer your fears. Oh, no. Kit is at risk of losing her single and loving it lifestyle. Unless she wants that to happen, she'd better start trying to build it back up. Lifestyle at risk of being lost. Well, Kit, what are you gonna do? You're not gonna take it out on Princess, are you? Yes, yes, she is. All right, now look. Princess is angry. Both of you, go to bed. Aw, there. See? You two are so cute together. Uh-oh. Neglecting myself. This is all far too much. Kit isn't ready for a relationship. She wants to focus on other things. I think Kit is about to do something drastic. Uh, uh, 
She did it. She broke up with her. Kit just broke up with Princess. Well, that's great, Kit. And now you're both very sad. Well, Kit, I hope it was worth it. You don't look happy about it. <laughs> and of course, Princess is devastated. Well, Kit, you're single again. Congratulations. You look like you don't know what to do. Yeah, the house seems pretty empty without her, doesn't it? And Princess is just staying up in her tower and not coming down. It's pretty safe to say that you ruined a good thing.